many of you need to stop being pygmies? Are you a pygmisha? Listen, you need to stop being a pygmy so the right man can pursue you. On Ready to Love, girl, we saw that Dusty Tommy. <laughs> I love Tommy. I just wanted to say why he brought back Chris the Dusty. Okay, I'm going to take you back because I do love Tommy. I love nephew Tommy, okay? It just bugs me why he brought the Dusty Chris back. And somebody said, I'm going to give you credit. They said he brought, he brought, um, he brought Dusty Chris back because his wife, you know, stuck it through with him until he made it. And you know, however long they took to get married. I don't know. But anyways, it just bugs me that he did bring Chris back. But anyways, okay, he's back. It is what it is. Ain't gonna be no change, right? So remember last season with Chris and when he talked all night, he wanted to split the mortgage. She was like, are you crazy? We don't split no mortgage. That's your responsibility. Now, the problem with that, ladies, is is you you want to marry somebody who who has the same beliefs as you do. So when he said split the mortgage, uh, Naya was like, "Boy, bye." I was like, "Bye, go ahead." Now I love Naya, okay. And a lot of dust dust bunnies and pygmies attacked her for it. So they brought they brought the dusty Chris back, girl. Why is Amber the lawyer? She went up to him and they were talking and he brought he brought up the whole Naya situation. Guess what Amber said, girl? I'm okay with splitting bills. If that's not a pick me shot, I don't know what it is, girl. Pick me shot. Pick me. Pick me because I'm okay with splitting bills. Girl, I my mouth hit the floor. That's what a pick is, because a lot of the ladies, you know, or African sisters, that's not here in the United States. The Southern was like, geez, what's the dust, buddy? <laughs> a pick is, pick me, pick me. I'll split the bills with you. I'll allow you to treat and cheat on me. That's a pick me. And a lot of strong, independent alpha, she says she's an alpha, black women are pick me's because they can't find a man to be what they want to be, the husband they want. So they say, okay, well, I'll just compromise and I'm okay with paying the bills. The problem with that is they're not realizing that if they drop the pick me attitude, they stop being alpha females, they will attract the right type of man. Because dumb, dumb, if you're an alpha female, what makes you think you're going to attract an alpha male? When the alpha male comes up to you, he's smelling you, looking like you. Well, she's just like me. She's the same as me. So if you're the same as him, y'all not going to work. What the Bible says, husband and wife shall do what? Cleave, become one flesh. You can only cleave, pay attention, read between the lines, and become one flesh as husband and wife. And so two alphas, it's not going to work out because you're going to try to be the man. So alpha woman, Amber, will always attract a beta male, Chris. And girl, coming up next week, when she tells him that he's a neat DA, girl, it was like Christmas morning, honey. But anyways, let me read this and let me go on about my business, girl. Uh, uh, from the Naked Wife, thank you for your love and support. Be sure to uh, check this out on Amazon. 23 times the guys you might meet. Nikki White, check that out. I did a Brianna video. Moments of gratitude journal. Write your stuff in here. Don't put it on social media. These are my uh, journal entries, some of them from 20 years ago. And of course, the In Christ I Am book. So I will be reading from page 88 of my book, 23 times the guys you might meet. It says, stop being a pick me so that he can pursue you. The thing about being a pick me is you're running him down and pursuing me. Hey, Johnny, Pookie, I'll pay the bills, Pookie. I just need you to come stay in my house. Pick me, Pookie. Pick me, because I'll pay the bills and take care of you. 
Okay, but you need to stop being a pick me and allow the man to pursue you if he's interested in you. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Princesses, please stop running men down and allow the ones who want you to pursue you. Okay, not every man is going to want you. Stop calling, texting, messaging them and let them call you. Lean back so that you can see if he wants to do the work to have you. You are the prize, the gift, and he needs to put in the work and run you down. But some of us are so desperate that we feel the need to prove that we are wife material. We feel like if we don't compete, he won't choose us. There's a new word for that one on social media called pick me. Stop being a pick me, ladies. When I think about a man pursuing me, I think about the scripture in Deuteronomy 28 and 2 that says the blessings of the Lord will overtake me. That's what you want, ladies, for the blessed and prepared man to pursue and overtake you so that he can profess his love, provide for and protect you. Remember also Psalm 23 husband. Remember all of this is in my book, 23,000 guys you might be, okay? Available on it, Amazon. <clears throat> Unfortunately, many women have become the pursuer and the aggressor. We see that with Alexis. The men keep saying she's so aggressive. Many women have become like men. As a result, some men have become like women, beta males. You are pursuing him, washing, cooking, cleaning, sexing him, moving him into your home, taking care of him, working two or three jobs while he sleeps until midday and play video games for the rest of the day. You come home from working several jobs, wash, clean, cook, bring him his plate, sex him, and do it all over over again. And then you want to cry that he doesn't want to work or help you around the house. Why should he? You're doing it all. You were desperate to have a man that you are making yourself a man. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all is a man? You got a whole male body in the house, but you're that man actually. Okay. I want to scream every time my wife asks for prayer because she doesn't know how they're going to pay rent. I don't make sense to me. Because she was sick and couldn't go to work. In the meantime, she's got a grown behind man in the house. No, ma'am. Ladies, my husband has never asked me how we are going to pay the mortgage or eat. Do you know why he's never going to ask me? I didn't marry that type of a man. I married a man who was a prepared husband. A man who understands that it is his responsibility to provide for his family. I married a Psalm 23 husband and he plans and makes sure that all of our needs are met. And so yesterday I had to uh, block a few dusters and dust bunnies who was talking about my beliefs is outdated. And you know what I said to the latest baby? Let me tell you, if you ever get a man that's doing all for you, honey, you will come apologize to me. Okay, you don't know what it's like to have a man to provide. You don't have to worry about nothing. It goes on to say, someone asked, what if he loses his job? Question, did you ask him that while you were dating and gathering data on him? Boom. If you're going to ask him that once you get married, it's too late. It's too late, baby. Too late. That's one of your dating questions you should have asked him. Mm -hmm. Did he convince you to trust him with your life? When a man has already, already lost his job, that is not the time to ask, what were you going to do? Where are your emergency fund savings and so on? Did you marry a marketable man? As a woman, we need to make better choices than husband. What is a marketable man? If he loses his job, how long will it take him to get another one? I'm not talking in a pandemic, okay? Because a lot of people lost his job. A lot of people's on, on unemployed. Because I know some foolish woman is going to say, well, it's a pandemic. I'm not talking in a pandemic, okay? In a pandemic, you just going to have to do the best you can because a lot of jobs are closed on. That's, I'm talking about regular. In a regular environment, how long will it take for him to get a job? That's the question I asked my husband. I said, if you lose your job, this is it. He said, okay, I'm going to come home, get me a couple of suits. You know, first thing, get on this first thing, smoke it to D.C. I'll have a job by next week. Cool. But then he said, but that's all right. Don't worry about it, babe. I got savings and all this stuff. Okay. Make sure you see the savings. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means to be marketable. Did you marry a marketable man? Some of y'all marrying these men fresh out of jail. Then you want to cry he can't get a job, can't keep a job. Is he marketable? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, college ain't for everybody. No, college is not for everybody, but I, 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 so, someone with a college degree can get a job quicker than someone that doesn't have one. My job, I work in social services. As long as you have a bachelor's, you can work there, but you have to have a bachelor's to be a, a, a social worker. So you can have all the experience in the world and show up. And the first thing is BA, you don't have it. And well, what you want, you can't be a worker. You could be a clerk or a mailman or something like that, but you can't be the worker and make the big bucks. So no, college is not for everybody, ladies, but make sure he's marketable. He needs to have some kind of training, certificate, electrician, a mechanic. A boiler fixer, something like that. He, what do you have a certificate in? What is your training? Well, you know, I, you know, I'm just fine. Jai here and there. No, what is his field of expertise? Okay, he don't have to have a college degree because college is not for everybody. But he needs to have. He needs to be an expert in something. Do you understand? Lawn care. I'm an expert. I'm a lawn, uh, lawn um, a, a landscaper. We pay our landscape a lot of money. Every time he come cut this grass twice a month, once a week, our landscaping bill just to cut the grass is $400 a month. And he has a lot of houses around here. That's just to do the lawn. If he got to do the trees, the shrubs, it's spring, he's going to do come do east, uh, spring cleaning. That is $500. So again, because I know some foolish person is going to say college is not for everybody. I say that all the time. It's not for everybody. But ladies, make sure he's an expert in something. What can he get a job in? He can't just be be going from pillar to post trying to get a job here and trying to get a job there. No, no, no. You need to be an expert in something. Or he needs to be an entrepreneur that's making money, not Vinny starting a car broker place in the middle of a pandemic. Moving on. <clears throat> He must be marketable. As a woman, as woman, we need to make better choices in husbands. Ask the question, if you lose your job, how soon can you get another one? No, you need to judge his answer based on who he is as a man. Okay, remember, count the cost before you build, ladies. Marry a man who can walk into the place, any place of business, and walk out with a job. Furthermore, remember that death and life are in the power of your tongue. Rise early and pray for your husband. Declare uh, the word of the Lord over your husband and your family and finances. Again, I am reading from my book, 23 Types of Fires You Might Meet. Speak favor and blessings of the Lord over your husband. I get up every morning and pray. My husband was like, who was you talking to the other morning? Was you on the phone at five o'clock? Who was you talking? I said, no, I was just down here talking and talking about my family and my house. My little boy said, mommy, you talk to yourself? I said, yeah, I talk to myself. Well, Psalm 103 said, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. You better talk to yourself. If you don't talk to yourself, you're crazy, okay? You keep the letting believing people say you talk to yourself, you're crazy. Not according to David, huh? Not according to King David. Uh-huh. Let me read on so I could go, go ahead and watch this little boy uh, uniforms for school. I don't know why they make baby pink for little kids in uniform. It just don't make no sense to me. But anyways, girl, uh, <laughs> a few years ago, after we were in our home, our boiler broke in the middle of a snowstorm. I never forgot that. Okay? My husband called the plumber and he said there was a leak and it would, would be a waste to fix it. So we needed to replace it. My husband then called PSC and G who came out and checked it. And they said the same thing right then and there. My husband signed the paper for us to get a new boiler and told us to pack our things. We were going to a hotel until it was fixed. Usually it would take about two days to replace the boiler, but because of the storm, 
It took almost a week. Princesses, that's what a Psalm 23 husband do. They plan, and if there is an issue, they fix it. A prepared husband don't turn to the wife and ask, what we gonna do? A prepared husband was created to solve every problem his wife and family uh, have that God created him to. Just let me say, when we got the house inspected, our inspector told us that the boiler would only last three years. So that was the third year, but we bought the house in the summer. We closed in the summer. So it was the January of the third year. Okay. So he did tell us he got about three more years on the boiler. Uh, usually uh, when stuff hit the fan, a prepared husband doesn't freak out. Okay. He's not going to be... <laughs> He gonna get the snake, okay? With a lot of y'all men, women married to men. Well, you know, I try not to talk about your husbands, except for the people on the TV. But anyways, girl, <laughs> a husband is to take control of every situation, fix issues, and make sure his wife and children are comfortable. When stuff happens, a wife needs to be able to rest in her husband. A husband's built to calm the seas. It breaks my heart when I read a wife post on social media that she doesn't know how they are going to do about a situation. Ma'am, your husband should be telling you the answer. Now you ask, not you are asking others for prayers because you have a male child as a husband. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, girl. Single girls, choose right. You better choose right. Choose right, two or three times, guys. Available Amazon, the naked wife, most great too, most great too. Impressed I am. Boom, I love you. I have got to go, girl. I'm going back to the untie. Bye.